Hi, this is Jeff from Public Lab, and I'm going to show you a bit about how to modify multispectral images, say from an infogram camera, um, in order to do uh, a plant health analysis, and especially focusing on how to use two different images uh, in some do-it-yourself multispectral camera setups. You have one camera taking uh, infrared imagery and one taking visible light imagery and you composite those to get NDVI. To learn more about this in depth and how uh, you know, the different types of cameras can work and what NDVI is, you can go to publiclab.org slash NDVI for Normalized Difference Vegetation Index. But I'm going to focus on Image Sequencer, which is our new tool for compositing these types of images. Uh, as I said, I'm going to focus on the case where you have two different images. So here's one that's in infrared. And this is sort of purple tinged, but yours might be black and white. Uh, it doesn't much matter. In this case, all three channels are showing about the same type of information, uh, red, green, and blue. Um, all of them are filled with infrared, uh, that is. In the second um, step here, it's asking for a visible image. So I'll paste that in. It'll take a moment. There we go. And now it's actually going through the steps on this page. Uh, the blend step will take some colors from the first image and some colors from the second image in different channels and produce a composite image. So once it's ready, we'll see that the two images are not perfectly lined up, but they're pretty good. And in this default, it uses the red channel from the first image and the green and blue channels from the second image. There we go. And as you should see with um, NDVI, uh, or sorry, with multispectral images, uh, one of the channels is much brighter, uh, especially around healthy plants. So this lawn is a typical green color. You can see back up here. And it's glowing bright blue. This is a, an interesting image because we also have plants that are red and white because it's in the shape of the and colors of the Peruvian flag. Um, but that's sort of an interesting way to look at different plants that are, you know, different colors and see how they, um, how they show up in NDVI. Here, the next step, NDVI, actually performs the NDVI equation. That's described back on this page here. And that's infrared minus visible divided by infrared plus visible. And there's a lot more about why, that, why that's important on this page. But I'm just showing you how to go ahead and do this. Um, you can switch the filter color, red and blue. Um, what that means is um, because people have been using single cameras with a red or blue filter to knock out the visible light from one of those channels and replace it with infrared, this just uh, inverts the NDVI equation. So as it's set up right now, red works for uh, this sequence, so infrared and then visible. If uh, this were reversed, um, and you were seeing a bright red vegetation, you'd have to switch this to blue. Um, I know that's confusing, but this is set up to go without configuring that, uh, so you don't have to worry about it. Finally, um, here you can see the very high NDVI regions uh, are brighter, but uh, it's, it's uh, fairly common to use a color map to uh, highlight those. And we have different color maps here. This one is particularly good for NDVI because what it does is it takes anything less than zero NDVI and it makes it uh, black and white, whereas everything uh, high NDVI above zero is uh, rendered in color. Uh, and it'll take a moment to go back through these steps. Uh, we're actually optimizing it so it won't have to repeat the previous steps in the future, but it'll be just a moment and you'll see the output. There it goes. And these are pretty high resolution images we're working with. Uh, each one is, I think, a megabyte or more. There you go. So the very high NDVI regions are the hottest colors in this uh, version and the lowest ones uh, or even the negative ones are rendered in black and white. Now, if you click on this image, you can download it. Um, 
I just want to walk through why image sequencer is uh, an interesting way to do this. This image sequence, so to speak, lists the different uh, steps that will be automatically displayed on this page. The steps are the import image to get your second image, blend to blend the first and second image, NDVI to actually run the NDVI equation, and color map to apply colors to it. Um, if you cut and paste this URL, you'll be able to use that anywhere you go. Um, we'll be posting this as a tutorial. For the time being, I ran on this old post from, I think, 2010, where we first demonstrated this kind of analysis way before image sequencer existed. Um, but an important thing is, because this sequence is reusable, you can drag any images into it, and then these two would be replaced with the images that you're using, and it will run through the rest of the steps exactly the same as we, sh we saw here. So image sequencer is based on a storyboard. Uh, you can modify, delete, rearrange these steps, but they'll run the same in the same way for any images that you input. So that's uh, image sequencer for two image uh, NDVI. Uh, I know that's uh, pretty dense, but please leave your questions in the comments and we can kind of uh, help you out if you'd like to use this tool. I'll also put this link into the body of the research note at Public Lab uh, so that you can get to it easily. Thanks a lot, and uh, thanks to the Aaron Project at NASA.